Hey guys, we finally get a update on Magic the Gathering movie, so it's not going to happen. Which is interesting that we have to get the update from Twitter. I, I mean, I feel like they could have announced that, hey, we're not going to make a Magic movie anymore because you guys really hate it. I recently found out why we are not getting a Magic movie. It turns out that the most Magic players dislike the concept of a Magic movie. Either A, they feel like it's going to fail, or B, they feel like it'll bring in a lot of not even casual Magic players, but I guess they feel like Wizards of the Coast will do a bad job of dedicating the game to the hardcore players or to the traditional Magic players. I feel like that's misleading, at least misguided. Anyway, so the person who was supposed to write the magic script pretty much says that he has no idea what's going on and no one really does and there's been no response. So we can pretty much put to bed the concept of having a magic movie. I really felt that they would do it because they had the Funko, they had the Funko line, they had the legacy figures, which now you can buy at the dollar store probably. At one time you could buy at a Target for like a dollar fifty. And they used to be I feel like they're their MSRP was like $24.99 or $19.99. So obviously the product line epically failed. They had the board game, which also epically failed. Essentially anything that they produced that was not magic cards did extremely poor. Now you might ask, hmm, why do we have Oath of the Gatewatch? So the story and the art book and all of this other non-magic card items they really promoted these things as well as cosplaying. Um, you always go on the mothership and you can read articles about people doing magic related stuff that's not playing magic in the community, which I feel like is great. But it never got there. And one of the reasons it never got there was the large majority of magic players do not want the movie to happen. And they said even worse, so maybe the movie is not good. If the movie is good, it would negatively have a negatively affect the game the game would become about marketing the next movie it would be the current gatewatch scenario a thousand times over you know i've always i grew up with magic i grew up reading the books with uh the crew the weatherlight crew uh mary was one of my favorites uh, i remembered my local library actually carrying magic books which was pretty cool I kind of wish that I had bought the magic book with the mana vault, but I'm, I'm sure everyone does because I saw it, you know, I saw it at the local library and, you know, they had the little form in the back and I was like, oh, who cares? What's the best card you can get from this? <laughs> well, it turns out it was pretty good. Anyway, the storyline has been very strange as of late. It's been kind of like Power Rangers. Hey, let's get a bunch of differently colored um her superheroes together and let's combine our skills and you're red and you're black and you're white and you're green and i'm missing a color here a blue it's exactly like the power rangers isn't that the five power ranger colors no no green so i'm missing one pink i'm missing pink maybe that's multi color Anyway, the concept is very simple hey we have a bunch of planeswalkers and they're going to work together to kick butt and that is pretty much the concept for the majority of 1990s children's TV shows. You know, Beetleborgs, Digimon, Pokemon, not really because you're collecting those Pokemons. But overall, I don't like the fact that the Magic movie is not happening. I was really excited for it. I felt like it would be really cool to watch. I would have gone to watch it. I would have... I had my friends watch it, and it's really hard to explain to non-Magic playing friends what Magic is, like or what the storyline is, because they're always asking what is the story, I never know what the story is. Just recently, I found out that Chandra was attracted to Nyssa. I was like, oh, wh when did that happen? Like, wh was there any development, or it just kind of happened? I don't know that many Magic players who actually know the story of what's going on, you know, I'm a cat. Cool. Where's Nico Boles? Is Tezzeret going to be here? Like, I, I believe he is, but did he make the portal jump? Did he not make it? Where is Garuk? 
Like, where's Garouk? There's badass who's killing planeswalkers, right? How many planeswalkers has he killed? Probably not that many. Where's Tibble? Where's Sorin? Like, where are these people? Like, where are these guys? Like, what's Tamio's role? Like, did Jace ever solve their, the mystery? I guess I guess he figured it was Emiko, but it's pretty obvious. At the end of the day, like, it's really difficult to... When I talk about my significant other plays Magic, and she's more about the drawings. She likes drawing them. She likes uh, the artwork, I guess. We, we have a few art books of Magic. We have the Zendikar one. And I feel like we have Shadows of Innistrad as well, like a kind of creepy one. But for the most part, she doesn't even know the story. Like, no one really understands the story of what, what these planeswalker, planeswalkers are trying to accomplish, what, uh, where they are, I mean, what are they doing, why these five, why can, how can you join, do you need, like, another card printed of you of some type, whatever happened to Avacyn, does he get turned back, what happened to Zella? Hopefully she got turned back because he was like one of my favorite angels. What happened to Philia? I know that 99% of you will know, want to know what happened to her. And if we're going to get a new reprint sometime soon. Nahiri, it's like, did she kill Sorin or did Sorin kill her? There's a lot of questions. And a magic movie wouldn't really solve that. But I've seen really bad movies before. There was a movie and I figured out what it was called. It was called I Am 4. And I went with my significant other during law school to see it. And it was a really crappy movie, but it was so crappy, it was good. I feel like that's what magic could be like. I am four. Really bad movie. Didn't really make sense because apparently there are other books in the series, right? And I didn't read the book. So I was a little confused. Like, okay, so did they kill like one, two, and three? And where, where's five? I think it was like four teamed up with like six or seven, but there was like a, a lot of numbers missing. And that didn't make sense to me. So I am very disappointed that we're not getting a Magic movie. I should have expected that given the poor sales of the Funko figures, the poor sales of the Legacy figures, which was way over MS. Who's going to pay twenty four ninety nine or or like nineteen ninety nine for that? They look terrible. Like who's going to pay that? Like people don't even want to pay two dollars for it. Anyway, uh, back to my rant. Just the magic community does not seem to want a movie. And I'm expecting a majority of you to disagree with me that a magic movie would have been good. If we don't get new players, the game dies. It's really that simple. And I guess what? We are not getting new players. I hate to tell you this, but I just watched uh, Injustice 2. And they have a mobile app. They have a mobile app. Like, (laughs) everyone has a mobile app. And the mobile app actually feeds into your console. So I'm really excited for that. And Fire Emblem has a mobile app. And Fire Emblem is coming out with the last free DS game. And they're probably just going to go mobile now. I would be shocked if Pokemon Rumble would not have a mobile app. What is it? Like, yeah, I think it's Pokemon Rumble. Eventually, they will get a mobile app too. So I can play on my phone or my iPad. There's so many missed opportunities. And people are not going... They will... Are, Let me put it this way. The new generation is not going to want to play with physical magic cards. It's really difficult to get younger people away from their computers, their phones, their iPads. I know I I work in advertising. I own an agency. We do digital marketing. There is a big shift from people who watch cable to just people who watch Netflix. And why wouldn't you? Netflix is $10 a month. Cable is a Anywhere between 50 to 100, depending on how much channels you have. Sometimes you don't have a control of what package the channels are. The same with mobile games. You know, why would you, you know, why would you have to be stuck on your computer, on a non-Mac computer, playing Magic Online, where the majority of games can be played on your mobile phone? And they can be played when you're, uh, someone's driving you, they can be played when you're at gala and you're at art gala and it's really boring and you just want to level up your fire emblem uh, characters they can be played anywhere and that's the key the key is i don't feel like more people are going to be like oh cool a physical cardboard game which is super expensive nah they're just going to download hearthstone because why wouldn't they 
Like if you had to start from scratch and for you, Hearthstone has more of a story and it's easier to access and it's quote unquote cheaper, then how would you ever get started? Like Matt, the, the people who go for Magic Online to Hearthstone, like Brian Kibler, there's no better example I have than Brian Kibler. He is the darling of the Magic community. He used to be. He, whenever he posted on Reddit, they would get like 400 upvotes no matter what he posted. He was beloved in the Magic community and now he's doing Hearthstone full time. Occasionally he opens a box, which is nice. I always watch his videos. But for the most part, he's just a Hearthstone player. And he's not coming back to Magic. He only goes to Pro Tours probably to get like the entry fee or the appearance fee. But he hasn't done well in a very long time because he's spending all his time playing Hearthstone. You need to get new blood. We need new blood in this game. And a Magic movie would bring tons of new blood into the game because there would be another... So the geeks when I played, or the geeks when I played Magic, they were geeks. All the geeks played Magic because it was really fun to go to everyone's house for a sleepover and play Magic. That was a really good time. You know, we played uh, Emperor. That was my favorite format. We used to do drafts. We used to have uncommons. We used to use a common. Before Popper was like, we knew what Popper was. We were just like, oh, play commons. And then to us, a common was just something that didn't have a goat symbol. So people were playing like soul rings and crazy stuff, which were uncommon. But we didn't know at the time. In Portal, oh man, Portal was just a such a fun set uh, to play with. And yeah, that's what geeks did. Geeks used to play that. Now geeks don't play magic anymore. Younger geeks um, in middle school don't play magic. They have mobile apps. They have Snapchat. They have all these, you know, I feel like a dinosaur because when we advertise to the younger audience, we have like children's playground and stuff like that. So we do advertise to the mothers, but obviously you have to advertise to children too to get the mother. It's a long process. It's like um, we work at a PR firm too to help us. But for the most part, you're not really going to get too many younger. It's like YouTube versus or it's YouTube, Netflix versus cable. The majority of them are just going to want to grow up with Netflix and YouTube and they won't even want to have cable. I don't currently have cable. Uh, my employees, none of them have cable. They just have Internet and they have really nice Internet, really high speed Internet, but they don't use cable because they just have Netflix. They have Hulu. They have Amazon Prime. Or Amazon Video, which comes with Prime. Well, I mean, the Amazon TV shows are okay. They're not as good as Netflix, but still. Netflix is, what, $10? I think they raised it to like $12 a month or something like that. It's so cheap compared to regular cable, which is $50, $60, $70. Uh, the same with Pandora, digital radio versus regular radio. You cannot track the analytics on it, but in digital, you can track the analytics. I can tell you how many people saw your YouTube video and what age group, what gender, uh, what their family income is, a lot of creepy stuff. That's the same with card games. Like, it's still a card game. I love card games, but it's still a card game. To get a young person on a card game, you need a movie. And I don't know why people are bashing this movie so hard. I expect this video will get bashed very hard because I'm in the way minority who feel like that a movie would actually be good for magic. Because it's not the entitled players that they're feeding. It's the new players. And unless you can get new players, you will only decline. And from on, my account on I'm, not, I'm not optimistic, if you will, that we can get new players at a good rate. Because we're competing against mobile games. We're competing against console games. competing against Minecraft. It's just... Hearthstone. How many people watch Hearthstone compared to that? League of Legends. Dota. I mean, you only have X amount of hours a day. You only have X amount of income that you can spend on entertainment a day as a young person. And if everyone else is playing League of Legends, what incentive do you have? Like, I don't see that many young people at my locals anymore. And that's very concerning to me. Because I would love the game to stay around. I mean, this is a pretty bad rant. I know people are going to this dislike this video because they feel like oh no magic is growing magic's perfect oh awesome more iconic master sets <laughs> things have changed but magic at the heart is still a cardboard game and i'm not saying magic magic is the best cardboard game ever and pokemon has had a resurgence 
but 50 years from now, or 25 years from now, I can't imagine that many people playing a cardboard game because they will have access to who knows what, virtual reality, who knows what they have access to. But even today, they have access to so many different mobile games, so many different online console, console games. Minecraft is really cool. I, it's so addicting, but I just worry. And I would have loved to see a movie just from my personal experience. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.